Howdy folks, Evan Controller here, and we're continuing on with more Betrayal at Crondor. I'm going to adjust my headset, because I need uh, perfect acoustics, because I'm a professional. Um, we are in a village full of village people, young man. And uh, I happen upon this particular house, and within this house, I discovered a note. Let us read that note together. Dear Thomas, I have discovered two things of interest which may be of help. First, as I mentioned in my previous missive, the mana has been crystallized on this world and may be harvested in bounty from the yellowish crystal formations which dot the planet. My second discovery was an artifact of surprisingly high order, which I was able to free from a magical trap near the columns to the north. I suspect by various elements of its design that it is meant to enhance certain telepathic abilities and will attempt this evening to see if it might be utilized in reaching Gamina's mind more later. Pug of Stardock. I'm wondering if that is the cup which we have obtained. The cup of... So, uh, I am still on my way to the pillars. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more of a hike so, uh, I guess I'll just pick things up once I arrive. I've reached the pillars once again, but I don't remember which one's dots of on, so... I'm going to extend my hand to one of these veiny blue edifices and hope that I don't get burned. Yes! Owen touched dots of on's column. Feeling the familiar presence stir within, he waited patiently for the entity to respond to his mental call. You have returned with the cup, the voice said calmly. That is well. The abandoned progeny of the Pantathians will now be denied access to the hall. We can be assured they will never again hear from their Midkimian mistress, though... Oh, interesting. wonder who that is. Though their re-established contact with their brethren holds dire consequences for the future of your world. But for now, you have no need of concern. The cup's powers may now be uh, subdued until the time is it's needed again. Pug's welfare still remains, Owen said firmly. We have run to the limits of this island for you. Now we wish to know where you have kept him. He is safe within a structure constructed by the uh, Panathian. The protective barrier that kept him within the structure will be removed once you locate him, so I know exactly where that is. Excellent. He misapprehended the scope of the cup's powers. When he weakened its powers, or wakened its powers to see the mind of his lost daughter, it overwhelmed him and reduced him to little more than a helpless child. You imprisoned him so you could protect him, Owen guessed, to save his life. An amused quality lent itself to the god's mental reply, though Owen felt certain such feelings were beyond a god. I mean, I think that's a bit much. I mean, gods have got to have a sense of humor, right? That uh, explains, you know, chihuahuas, for instance. As an individual, he is of little interest to us, but we saved his life in honor of a kindness done for the last survivor of our world's holocaust by one known as Macros. He knew of these events and asked that the one known as Pug be sheltered until you returned here with the cup. Whoa, this is getting pretty heavy duty, guys. Already he has regained most of his identity and memory, but his abilities will yet be impaired for some months. You will also find the way is open to a place that would have gained you your, gained you your deaths. <laughs> If you had gone there, the ancient lands once occupied by the Valheru during their wars here. I'm guessing that that's the cave that we could not proceed through because of reasons. Um, <laughs> there are ar artifacts there that may be of help to you in your battles. You may now leave, but take the cup with you. With it, you may teach Pug any of the spells you know. Oh, well, that's handy. So, uh, I think Pug is... Ooh, I can't quite remember. I think he's to the south of here somewhere it's not in one of these houses it had a uh, had the corpse of a beetle in front of it one of the fire beetles or whatever the hell they're called <laughs> it's been a little while since I played the game so uh, crud where is it well I'm gonna do some searching around I guess rather than boring you guys with my frantic searching and once I locate oh maybe this is it I remember it was a house on its own this could be it no oh hey that's him all right I was right oh my god look at pug <laughs> just look at him look at all that chest hair and that amazing mop of blonde hair 
he looks like Rod Stewart. I can't do a good Rod Stewart. Um, he, he just has a very 80s butt rock kind of look. Hair metal, for sure. Um, I'm going to go with Dr. Roxo. Where's well, Thomas? It is important I speak with him. Cu -cu -cu -yeah -yeah. He was unable to come, and he sent us after you. He gave us the spell which you left to him. Unable to come? Why? What's happened to him? <laughs> it's over the top. He was injured during an attack on Elvendar by the Moradel. Queen Aglarana assures us that he will be all right. I can't believe that Macula's plans would have been served by sending you here. <laughs> it's not how he sounds. Phoning it in, folks. I'm sorry. So for the moment, I will have to trust your word. In looking at you, it occurs to me your face is familiar. Are you the magician boy who came to Crondor with Senor Locklear a few months ago? Dr. Roxo remembers. C -c -c -yeah -yeah. It's so dumb. Yes, and you remember Gorath? His face has been hard for me to forget these last few nights. He was the first tool of Makala's in this grand scheme. Whoa. You accuse us of being liars and spies? I'm not implicating you, you are, or I'm not implicating what? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm not implicating you are a willing participant, Gorath. <laughs> As I've said so many times before in my own life, you were as unknowing in your part as I, as, as I must assume Delicon is in his. When you said he had raised the four banners of Mermandimus over Sarsagoth, I became somewhat alarmed. <laughs> Just, this is so not at all anything that Dr. Roxo would ever say in his life. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. He's Dr. Roxo. He's the rock and roll clown. He does cocaine. C -c -c -yeah -yeah. I haven't seen my Mandamus' death with my own eyes. I had no reason to believe he still lived. But forces acting in his name caused a calamity at Sethen. <laughs> and I thought it possible the Pantathians were once again responsible. After some investigation, I found they were indeed interfering with affairs in the kingdom. It's <laughs> just too much. I gotta figure out a different voice for it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, uh, maybe maybe the next segment will come up with something else because this is just so fucking stupid. And I'm not particularly good at it. Okay. I found out they were indeed interfering with affairs in the kingdom. <laughs> we were acting through a band of magical thieves searching for various magical items, trinkets, in no way directly responsible for what was happening in the Northlands or posing immediate threat to Mithkemia. With the issue resolved, I believe then Delicon was merely exploiting the reputation of his predecessor to gain power. So when did so then what did Gorath tell you that was so important? It was only after Makala tricked me into coming here that Gorath's testimony I'm just gonna read it straight, because it's too stupid. It was only after Makala tricked me into coming here that Gorath's testimony to Prince Arutha took on any significance. In passing he had mentioned Delicon wearing a helm of black Shaped like a dragon. Mermandimus wore such a helm and with it, and had it with him, jeez, when Prince Arutha cut him down. Whoever had given Delicon Mermandimus' helm had to have been inside the caverns beneath Sethenin. Okay, that's starting to make sense. There are only four magicians I can think of who might have had the wiles to slip inside the first perimeter of defenses that have been placed there. One is Macros, but since he was instrumental in averting catastrophe there, I cannot believe he would be responsible. Another is a magician whom Macros once told me of, named Nakor the Isolani. I, re I remember this name. Um, but again, I have reason to believe the Northlands would hold little interest for him. The only others who would be capable are Elgar and Makala, but Elgar has been quite busy with his students at Stardock. Leaving your only suspect is Makala, but why is he doing all this? Why would he be pushing Delicon into a war with the kingdom? If he was ingenious enough to uh, get within the caverns, he would still need considerable help achieving his final objective, a chamber containing an artifact of unbelievable destructive power, about which he has been in indefatigably, wow, indefatigably interested, tirelessly interested, very interested, Jesus, any of those are fine. I left behind a dragon to guard, it's just hard for me to read, that's the only reason I'm bitching. 
I left behind a dragon to guard it. Just left one there, casually. And even my powers would be sorely taxed in a single battle against a dragon her age, let alone one with the special ca capabilities of the one who sleeps under Sethanen. Once she's alarmed, she will no doubt summon help from a secret garrison of soldiers which King Liam ordered to remain in the region of Sethanen, soldiers whom Makala surely would have de detected on his first visit, an intense encounter with Delicon's Mordel troops. Oh, so that's what Squire Philip is probably in the lead of. It's very secret. Shh. But that's why Prince Arutha sent us to find you. He's afraid that Delicon is going to have magicians working at the siege of North Warden. <laughs> Maybe we could stop them there. Unfortunately, I'm of no use to anyone at the moment, let alone Prince Arutha. In my blind haste to find Gamina, I used a magical artifact that would have best le been left alone. We already know something about it. He said before that you were going to have to trust us, so you'll have to trust me now when I tell you I think I can help. I hope for all our sakes... And I'm not wrong about this. Pug shook as he lifted the jeweled cup of old skull. Feeling power flare within the jeweled artifact. In ever-expanding circles, his consciousness stretched outward, touched on the minds of those with whom he traveled, finding awe, confusion, fear, pain, knowledge. Acting! Excitement! I don't know what I'm talking about. With jarring suddenness... Owen's mind was joined to Pugs, each dazed by the intimacy of the contact. Mm. Concentrate on what you know of spellcraft. Oh, concentrate on what you know of spellcraft, Pug thought. I shall do the same, though, in my debilitated condition. Oh, wait, that's Pug. Sorry, I read it right the first time. Concentrate on what you know of spellcraft, Pug thought. I shall do the same, though, in my debilitated condition. I think I shall benefit more from this than you. Well... He's a taker, not a giver. Owen stirred and found that Gorath was standing over him, a look of concern on his face. I was wondering about you two, he said. How long was... were we out? Owen asked, sitting upright. Two days, Gorath replied. Whoa, smiling at Owen's startled reaction. It is a good thing you both had presence enough to a mind to eat when I put the food in your hands. Oh. Well, so, Pug... Has a staff. He has a crystal staff. He's also got the staff of macros. Hmm. And he has some rations, and he's got a ring of prander, which I really don't care about. No, no, no. He's not armored, though, so that might be an issue. We'll have to try and dredge up some armor for him, but wait a minute. What? I didn't want to get rid of that. What is this? Pug unfolded the strange note. Though much of the illustration was faded, it appeared they had discovered some sort of map. Oh. From what they had seen of the strange island so far, it seemed accurate enough. Examining this map, Pug did his best to approximate their location. This looks about right, he said, indicating an area to Gorath. Okay, so, um, these are the pillars. Um, boy, and like I say, it's been a while since I played. I think over here was the cave. This is where a lot of the buildings were. Um, I think we started over here. So we haven't been over here, which I think was mentioned uh, earlier on. So I think that that's where we're going to go. Uh, so I'm going to travel through areas that I've traveled through before. I'm going to off-screen that. And meanwhile, think of a clever voice for Pug. And uh, just travel through there and uh, pick things up once we reach our destination. Gorath just interrupted our journey, uh, asking where the hell we're going, basically. Um... Given Pug's voice some thought, he just looks kind of sleepy, so I'm going to read him as, Being kind of tired, I must find my daughter Gamina. In my current state, I am unable to reach her mind. I know not of your travels, but I was not able to complete my search. Then we shall continue our random wanderings? I have no desire for, one, for our search to be random. Assistance may lie to the north in the Pillar of Datsavan, Lord of the Gates. While trapped, I found my mind focusing there. We know the pillar of which you speak. Then lead the way, my friend. <laughs> I kind of like that somehow. It's not my best, but... Hey, everybody. Pug's gonna have us go to the north. How about that? Does that sound good? All right. Let's see, where am I? So, we're going to be backtracking, I guess, so we're going to the pillar instead. Might be a good idea to rest. We're pretty close to it. We didn't really get that far away from the 
the uh, cabin or whatever. Okay, so that's the three houses, and then just to the right of that should be the pillars. I really hope I remember which one's the right one. Could be a painful lesson for us. I think it's this one. Pug studied the column. When he had visited the site at Karzine previously, he had sensed the sentience that radiated from them, but had been unaware of the true nature of the beings who inhabited them. Stepping forward, he made a slight bow. Greetings, cousins of the Al. You know my cousin Al? I regret that I did not recognize you on my first visit. My apologies. It was only during the time I was in the tent that something the Oracle spoke of once occurred to me. Apologies are unneeded for such as we, Savani, but we accept your tribute. Your safety was greatly prized by Macros. Pug nodded. He has been a true friend to me, only as one other has ever been. Wow. It is a... <laughs> it is an honor that he prized me so highly. I sometimes wonder that he will ever stop protecting me. You have not come to us to waste thanks on us, one called Pug. <laughs> Is that like right said Fred? I don't know. What do you wish from the gods of Timurianya? I came here in search of my daughter, Gamina, a magician. A Savani, by your terms, brought her... Brought her... Oh, a Savani, by your terms, brought her here <laughs> against her will. It is important that I find her and return to my home to avert a possible catastrophe. <laughs> Horses are gathering to tamper with the lifestone. The lifestone? Okay. For a moment there was silence, the only motion in the air made by the rasp of the sands moving in the deserts. Then, quite abruptly, Datsavan's voice returned. Your daughter is caged by Panath Tiandin. Tiandin, yeah, that's right. They believe her an omen that Alma Lodka has heard their pleas and is preparing the way for her return. Is she in any danger, Pug asked? Is there something you may do for her? No, Datsavan replied. Such as my powers once were, they are limited, part of the price we paid for continued existence. You exhausted your ex essence when you crystallized the mana to drive off the Vilheru. When their magical abilities seemingly began to wane, they assumed they had tapped the mana of the planet dry and moved on. Your speculations are deft, Savani, but the gods of Timirianya are not yet dead. We will abide until the time comes when we either sleep or until we can be reborn through these children of the Holocaust. Perhaps once they have forgotten Almaladka and the rest of the Valheru, they can mature in their own ways. Pug accepted the information calmly and began to turn to leave, then halted. Has Makala placed any special spells around her? <laughs> I'm very limited in my abilities at present. Seek the old hordes of the Valheru. There may be something there to assist you. Farewell, Pug. Datsavan shall speak no more. Mm. Um, well, now that we're at the top part of the island... Oh, wait, that's that's not the map anymore. we got to click on this some bitch. Uh, we're going to go down here. Uh, still going to be backtracking, so... I'll uh, off-screen that and join you once we're in new territories. I had to push a button to start recording, but Owen just said, Seek the old hordes of the Valero, I don't understand. Now Pug is saying, I gather you do understand how this place was not always as it is now. I'm, you know what I'm realizing? I'm doing the voice of the guy, Are you making fun of my automobile? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna roll with it. At some point after Gamma is safe, please inquire further. As for now, it is enough to know that when the Valheru left this land, they left behind something else as well. Whatever it is, it would be buried like their ruins. For it to have remained intact for so many years, it must have been protected by some sort of magical defense, perhaps one produced by the pillars. Gorath and I have never come across any such defenses here. In my search, I was able to cover all but the southern end of the isle. We should start there. We have searched the southeast end of the isle, which leaves only... Prepare yourselves. We journey to the southwest. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so, a little exposition there. Hit a barrier of some kind. Maybe... Well, that's weird. Game actually lagged. <laughs> this game from 1993. Really taxing on the old CPU. Um, let's open up the map just to make sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're going to continue on then. Managed to get into a fight. 
little bit nervous about this because Pug is not in fighting shape, and these are not the casters. These are Penath Tiandin rather than uh, Pantathians. So I have to be cautious. Although, he can cast. And I think I'm going to have him cast. Wow, he's very accurate. Actually, should right click him and uh, read his flavor text, I guess we'll call it. Um, attack that guy, and then we'll do another Fetters of Rhyme over here. And I think uh, Pug will just. What? Oh, I didn't stun that guy. That's why he moved. Ha ha ha. Chill out, everybody. Maybe we'll cast another Fetters of Rhyme just for the. For the hail of it. There you go. Maybe even have Pug... Wow. He hit him. I don't know if he did any damage. Whoops. <laughs> Got greedy. Oh, hey. Not nice. What if I can... Oh, nope. Oh, that guy's... Shit. <laughs> What an idiot. I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> I got greedy. There we go. <laughs> it should have been a way easier fight, but there you go. Let's see what we got here. I wonder if we can get some armor for Pug. I don't think these guys tend to be armored, though, unfortunately, so... It's a little bit of a problem for us, and yeah, we don't get any rations or anything. Whoopsie daisy. Well, lesson learned. Again, I've probably had that lesson many times. Don't fuck around in combat like that, but I'm a slow learner. Okay, so we're gonna be crossing here and then, well, I guess it's not a river, that's just a path. So we're gonna be following this path down here and uh, messing around here. Our trip to the southeast has been somewhat uneventful and we've happened upon another tent. Uh, meanwhile, as I said, I was gonna right click on Pug and read his uh, info. Orphaned at a young age, Pug was raised in the kitchens of Crydy in the Western Empire. Apprenticed to Colgan, the magician, he showed little magical promise initially. Pug was captured and enslaved by the Sarani during the Rift War, seeing vast potential in the boy. The Great Ones of the Sarani Empire began to train him in the magic of the Greater Path. When Pug returned to Midkimia, he helped bring an end to the Rift War with the help of Macros the Black. He was adopted into the royal family and awarded land to begin his Academy of Magic at Stardock. His irresistible friendliness belies the fact that he is the unchallenged master of magic in Midkemia. Pug is the father of two, an adopted daughter, Gamina, who possesses telepathic powers, and William, his natural son. Oh, Billy, Billy boy. Uh, we're going to go in here. It's empty. Well, that's, that's fun. That's a dead crab thing. And you... Is that actually edible? Sweet. Have it. Have it all. Um, I would like to find some uh, yellow crystals. Some kidney stones. Let's see here. Actually, do you have... You have stones. should use some. There you go. And actually, why don't you, uh, share with... Whoa. Your staff. It's terrible. You need that. Okay. I'm glad I, I decided to do that, because that would have been bad. I passed some up on the way here, I'm sure. Whoa! Okay. Wow, okay, lustrous as no armor should be. It was unthinkable the suit had ever been in battle. Possibly light, the breastplate was forged of a material that seemed like white gold, but was harder than any seal Owen had ever encountered. Uh, stats, please. 70%. It's got a blessing on it, too. Let me look at this, because this is like 55, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, baby, you can have that. Owen, you actually... There you go. And we got tons of rations. These are... 
who's been hiding this shit here? <laughs> They're fresh. They're delicious. Have more. There you go. And you get some of these. You should have all of these, in fact. And what is this? Strength drain. Is that like... I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing for that. I got nothing. I'm just gonna go ahead and admit. I don't have anything. It's fine. Um, we seem to be getting prepared for quite a brawl here with all this gear. Uh, we don't need another crystal staff. Fun though that might be. And uh, I think that must be what they meant by horde rather than a, you know, a, a large group of people. They meant a treasure hoard. Um, I guess they did use hoard plural, so I'll keep searching around here. Be nice if we could all get nice and armored up. That's a corpse there. I wonder if I can camp. Splendid. Is that spoiled? Nope. There you go. Puggles. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be very thorough, apparently, because... Oh yeah, and also, by the way... I'm gonna read that spell. Hey, 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 hey. Let me, uh, figure out what that is. Can I right-click it? I can't remember if I can do that. No, I can't. Well, hmm. We'll get into combat, I'm sure, at some point, and I'll be able to mouse over it, at least. Wonder if I can use the cup then, and uh, who's got the cup? Does he now know it? Does Pug know it as well? I don't see it. Oh, it takes two days. Okay, so we need to not do that, probably. <laughs> but he should now know it, right? Life, or no, strength drain, right? Where the hell is it? Weird, I don't think he learned it. Because now, let's take a look at Owen. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Did he forget it? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, dear. That's weird. Wait, and then I just gave him... Stop it. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I might have to reload then, because I think I need that spell, don't I? Well, we'll see. We'll see if we run across another uh, cache of treasure. There's a cabin. I keep calling it a cabin, and it it's not a cabin at all. Um, fuck. Wow, we sped through there, actually. Um, that's peculiar. Well, God, I, I think that uh, there's got to be more to this, right? There should be more treasure, right? That was a lot of treasure, though, in fairness. So There's another beetle. Hmm. It's just a bunch of this bullshit. Hey, it's not like it's, I'm, you know, unhappy to have rations, but there is another. That might be the same one, though. Okay. And it's another suit of armor, at least. Take off your clothes. Take off your clothes. Oh, come on. Um. 
once again we come into the issues of inventory management. Here, have this book of macros. Don't use that spider at all. Um, how is there not enough room? It's, it's a, I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Um, wait a minute. Fuck. I did it all wrong. There you go. You take that. You take that. Um, do you have an armorer's hammer? You do. Switcheroo. Come on. Ugh, God damn it. Um, shit. How about... Fine. Oh wait, there we go. That actually works. Cause then, haha. -ha. Um. So note to self. Um. You know what? I might have to reload anyway. So because I would like to have them both know that spell, probably right. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reload, and then uh, I'll have them both learn it correctly, and then we'll proceed from there. Sound good? Good. <laughs>